You know what it is, your favorite cousin checking in. Hey, you talking about, man? It goes down around here, man. We wouldn't be the streets more than take over if we didn't have people like Miss Shot Nigga and Shout and Shout in these streets out here. All right, now this morning we got a special guest in the building, man. Yep. Um, you've seen her for at least a decade. At least a decade. You've seen her on your television screens. You've seen her on blogs. You've heard different things that she's been a part of uh, because she definitely knows what to do, when to do it, how to do it, and where to do it in the building this morning. In the studio, the one and only Bambi. Yeah. Good morning, guys. The Bam. Good morning. I'm trying to see how you find a, a, a fur coat to match your hair. I know, like right? I got the blood. <laughs> Y'all know Miko I got every color about. fur. That's oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, I need to get some hair from you, Jesus! Uh, absolutely, you need to come ooh. to the highest shimmer. I got to. I, uh, you know ooh. it's right down the street. I'm coming. I threw. He messed around. I, I threw away three bundles. No way. I, what, Shawty? Did you How get you fought that? for that? What? They have to fight you. If Man, you my bundles, come on, come on! I don't even want to bring it back up. Oh Dang. my God! I got to go. Yeah, she, <laughs> she went to look for that hair, man, and she had done took them braids down, uh, and it went down. <laughs> <laughs> what made you just throw the bundles in the trash? I, ain't, I don't know what happened to the bundles, but I had to take responsibility okay, when it get that hot at the house. Well, that's nice. I like that. I like, right, that's nice. I'll bust oh, them over. But it's not like she should have made sure the hell was in place for her. Don't, don't. No, no, John, 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 I can't even come with that. I wanted to come with that. I'm trying to help. I wanted I wanted to help myself with it, but it, it, boy, that's how you get hit. Outside of these bundles, man, what <laughs> yes. we got going on, man? We, we, you know, we, I haven't had a chance to talk to you in uh well, I know I ain't talked to you since uh, hmm. birthday party. Yep. I feel like no, I talked to you since then. Have you? No, no, I think that was probably it. Was it? Um, yeah, that was in September too. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I got these. Um, my first book I um, wrote is called "Mommy, I Want to Go Home," and I let my kids like co-author because um, it was a lot of their like input that came out of here, and this was just like during the divorce, and it was just me trying to find like a way to talk to my kids about what was happening wow and, um, it turned into a book you know what i'm saying like, come on the illustrations and everything and they actually really love it and they ask to read it like you know a few nights wow. after week. it makes me feel good because if you look in here like the little illustrations they kind of resemble the children a little bit you know little black kids what is it that lady's too short to be you though let me see no, she definitely <laughs> is, so, you know. so is this a book for divorcing parents for the kids uh, Transitioning. So it's it's for it was an intentional. It was for the kids, but it helps the parents too because it gives the parents oh, some ideas of mm. things to do, like when the kids is asking for the other parent and all that. Kind I'm of about stuff. to cry because I just I just looked at the page and it said we can call him. Yeah, we and can call him. We can draw a picture of him. Oh, we can write him a letter. Can he you come know? home? That mm. you know. Can't happen, <laughs> <laughs> but everything else, you know. Y'all, <laughs> what, what happened, Bam? Wait. I want to know what happened, what sister. Happened what? The marriage, the family, you and Scrap. You ain't been paying attention. I've been seeing it, but I need to hear from your mouth. Like, what? Because we friends. Yeah, we are. And then, you know, it's divorce. Mm -hmm. Then Scrap saying, we wasn't even married. Was y'all yeah. married? We were married, but, you know, he is going through whatever he's going through right now and if he wants to delete the marriage um he can surely do that y'all remember when drea deleted her wholeness <laughs> she, she, she said did. your wholeness can be deleted so you can delete a marriage too so if in his mind it makes him feel better to just be like that wasn't a real marriage for me the next one is gonna be it then you know that's okay. so what were your thoughts when you heard that? i mean because i know let's, let's be for real yeah. i mean everybody has antics we do certain things for, yeah. It, it, it's, yeah. It's 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 sometimes it's just for the like, whoa, yeah. just the shock value of it all. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to figure out like, How do you feel, feel like feel it was that? Yeah. Said that. To be honest, like nothing he does right now makes me feel away. Like I just understand. Like I'm so tapped in and connected with myself right now that I understand that whatever people are doing, it's just. You know, like, he has to go through things however he's going through them. And if that makes him feel better, then I just got to, you know, that's his truth, you know? Well, I saw that you had a book, Unbothered. Yeah. Is that going to be released soon? 
Yes, it's actually available on Amazon right now. Okay, I didn't nice. read the hard copies, but the unbothered um, people always assume that if you're commenting on something mm -hmm. or if you have a response to something that you're bothered, right? Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, being unbothered is just being kind of taking a few steps back before you respond and truly giving like an emotionally intelligent respond mm. opposed to just blurting something out and being impulsive. And um, that's what that book is about. Like, because I've had to develop that over the course of this like process with people just like every day, like taunting, taunting, taunting. So, you know, it's just like, let Not, me just. No, know. I don't, I don't want to make this interview like all that. about yeah, yeah, you and you and uh, scrap, you know, because I understand when you, when you're trying to move on or when you've moved on, mm -hmm. And the reason I said trying to, because as you're moving on, people are still holding on to right. your past. And mm. where you may have let your past go, you're still connected to your oh, past. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, I, I, I wonder because the, as I said, the last time I saw you two, if I was on the outside looking in, mm -hmm. I would have been like, Oh, this must be for TV because it don't look. Y'all didn't look like y'all was in a bad space. I could, mm -hmm. I could not tell. You could, I would have been willing to bet ten thousand dollars if somebody said they were going through a divorce. I'm like, no way, because you guys seemed like everything was cool. Yeah. But of course, when we think, when we see things play out in front of the television or via social media, it just seems like everything is going haywire. How, how do y'all find that balance, or have y'all found that balance? Because at that moment, it could have been cool. Yeah. But, I mean, do you still have those up and down moments or is it just everything kind of like neutral right now? I think for me, um, I used the advice that I gave him. Like, when we were married, I told him to deal with people and, like, basically like a monotone. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you can't have extreme highs and lows when you're dealing with nobody. You got to be on the same page all the time so people know what to expect. Mm -hmm. And um, no matter what he does or says or what his family – I'm still, like, if he texts me, like, I'm, I'm cool because, to be honest, like, I'm not really triggered by none of his antics anymore. So he can say whatever he want to say, and then if he hit me and it's about the kids, I'm going to give, like, you know, a response that is conducive to us being able to co-parent. Even though he may not be there most mm. days, I'm going to stay there. Yes, you have to. That's important. Yeah. That's that's very I, I, I have a question away from Scrappy. Um, how's your relationship with Erica Mena, especially, you know, she's not on the season anymore. That is and... my sister. I talk okay. to her almost every day. So mm. how had the conversation went with the colorism? Um, you know, we had that conversation very, very early on. Mm -hmm. And um, I truly um, do not really care to, like, give a public opinion about that because she, she is my friend. Okay. And I feel like when, you know, you have a friend, you – do what you need to do behind the scenes, mm -hmm. and then y'all get forward. I mean, you know, you get past right. it and you move forward. Mm -hmm. So we had those conversations very early on. We mm -hmm. came to, like, an understanding, and, you know, I don't yeah. think she's a, a racist or a colorist. Okay. It was just a, a crazy moment. Okay. Yeah. I definitely feel like it was a crazy moment. <laughs> what happened in the club that day when Sausage Santana? Oh, when what? we got yes. locked up. What happened? Oh, my God. That was <laughs> the first time I had ever been, like, locked up. Do y'all realize that? It was so traumatic for me Man. Like, it was so bad. but we were just in a club we were chilling and you know erica and zell were like playing with each other kind of uh -huh. like they were kind of like play fighting almost like oh really we was like doing too fucking much but the, the club was <laughs> empty at drinks. the time it was really nobody in there mm -hmm. and then one of the security had like flew in from outside thinking that it was like a real big situation happening oh. and so when he was trying to like Diffuse. Um, Erica didn't realize what was happening because she got snatched from the back. So she, you know, everybody just started. <laughs> it going went next yeah. level. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, let's uh, present some of these books. Let's see sure. what's going on. So this one I bought um, especially for, for you, Jock. I, how do you feel about journaling? I think that uh, journaling is very important, um, especially if you understand the reason behind it. Um, I think it's a, a injustice to young men all over the world that don't mm. because yeah. women, young young girls are introduced to it early on because this is as you you you, you create journals and chronicles of your life, damn on a day to day, yeah, on a day to day basis, 
it allows you to learn yourself more. You get closer and more in tune with your affirmations and things of such. Yes. And that's why they say that women mature faster than men. I don't know if really women really mature faster than men or if we set women up to mature faster yes. than men. Because when you guys, when women, uh, when you are frustrated, when you're happy, when you're concerned, when you're curious, you, you, we, you've you been presented a place to go and tap into an outlet, which is yourself, really. You're pouring back into yourself. Little boys, go outside and play. Go ride your bike. Go shoot some basketball. Go play football. And we we kind of we help kind of alleviate our stress through other means yeah. opposed to journaling. Exactly. So as a man, now being me being able to see that and spot that out and have my own opinion on it, I think that it is very, very important because I find myself doing it now nice. in my phone. Okay. Um, only because some at some moments – when I am on the left extreme, okay. I feel away. Nice. And tomorrow I may be on the right extreme, and I feel totally different. But whenever I can go back and just look at that, I start to realize. Oh, I can see my. I should say instead of start to realize, I can see my growth. Yes. So Absolutely. I definitely be. I love up. that, um, and I love that you're encouraging, like you know, men and boys to um, tap into that. But I, I created this journal. It's called Locked In. Um, after like going through the divorce process as well, because I learned from one of, like, Scrappy's interviews, like, he mentioned that he, like, went through one of my journals, like, while we were together. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah. So, for this, this is like a couple's journal. You write your thoughts and your feelings, and you pass it back and forth between your partner. Wow. You know, there may be some days that you don't necessarily want to talk about what's happening, and you can just write it down, and then somebody will read it and just give you the space that you may need. Mm. But there are some pages in here mm. that's like talk back if you want a response. You know, maybe I'll respond nice. to you later. And then it's like, I don't love talk, it. Just listen. You know, I just want to vent. And that you is don't have to so healthy. So does that not feel a little? Well, let me go back to mm-hmm. Scrappy saying he read yours. Yeah. Did you feel violated when you heard that? I I did, but mm. you know, I was just like, you know, it's okay because those were my thoughts and those were my feelings mm-hmm. at the time. And had he received it a different way, we probably could have got mm. real differently That's true. because if i see something and he's like oh well you know this bitch ain't doing it. oh so, sorry yeah <laughs> but i'm gonna be like you know what maybe let I me should. maybe i should fix it you maybe. know but yeah. for him like he got offended and it was just mm. crazy yeah. wow i had a similar situation i we i went my, my wife gave me one of her old phones and i broke my phone and well, she was like <laughs> go, go get this turned on you are so ghetto it had her whole life in it <laughs> And you read it for four days. You was reading everything. I, I couldn't even hardly focus up here. Oh my <laughs> god! I, I went through every single Just thing on that phone, something. and I realized <laughs> I wanted to stay, and I realized that I I could marry her. Oh, that's good. You know what I'm that. saying? Yeah. I so I was happy it. I went through, and I and I still Bro, use why things. Why are you that tearing up though? Why are you tearing? Because I still use things that I saw in there to know how to move. She, she, she see. see what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's, it taught that's me how to maneuver key, well. Right? Yeah. I like yeah. that. So what was the beginning process of even creating this journal? It was just, you know, I am truly on a path to, like, kind of help people in areas where I feel like I fell short, mm-hmm. you know, and things that I feel like could have helped. So if I could help somebody else, I mean, that's enough for me. Mm-hmm. Everything has to come with a purpose, you know? Like, yeah. You don't just go through I'm, I'm going to ask you this question. It. Sure. Okay. Because... Ask the question, Jack. Don't come tell on, the story yeah, and just ask speed it, it out. Just ask. <laughs> However you think it. Because when you journal, mm-hmm. and, and like I said, you taking the time to carefully jot down your feelings, your emotions at that moment in time. Are there any moments now when you look back and see where you could have done things differently, maybe to possibly save your marriage? I don't know about save it, but um, I definitely could have. Well, sustain. Now, let's say yeah, sustain yeah. instead of save. Absolutely. I mean, I'm like one of those people who is like ever evolving, right? Every single day I wake up, I think about what I could do better. And yes, like I've done a lot of things and, you know, I was new to the situation too. So there are absolutely very, very many things that I could have done differently. Do you think you'll create a journal for maybe, you know, mother-in-laws? 
and uh, things. You know what? <laughs> um, <laughs> just say. Possibly. That's that a good idea. Good, yeah. But I do have like other journals for like, <laughs> you know, like the parents and the, okay. the kid and all that, the past back and forth and all that stuff. too. Mm-hmm. So uh, maybe. I mean, mm-hmm. that might be a good one. Is yeah. it a season to sit on Mama D? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so what that consists of? Well, it, it basically was just a warning, like, telling her, like, hey, you might want to pipe down. So <laughs> have to, like, you know. Take that truck. No, just play. That part. <laughs> oh, no. So you guys haven't had a chance to talk or even, I guess, come to some sort of mends in that relationship? Uh, no, I don't even think it's necessary, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. Well, did you get your physical degree back? Uh, no, but it was funny because I... I never ordered, like, a copy of my degree. I never picked up my degree after I graduated from college. It was just, like, done and kept it moving. And then, you know, she kept going on these, like, rants talking about she doesn't even have a degree and all this stuff. So when I met up with her at a scene, I I was like, you know what, I'm going to order some copies. And so I ordered two copies, which one I was just going to give to my mom because I'm like, I kind of owe that. Oh, that's Mm -hmm. yeah. And then so I ordered another copy because I knew something crazy possibly was gonna happen. I took it to the scene, <laughs> no. and yeah, she said it was fake, and she ripped it up. And oh, she man. ripped up your college degree. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. And it was so like I'm not gonna lie. That was one of the things that she did that I was just like, oh, she has no type of like. That, that there's hurt. no end. That was one to, of them that hurt, mom. Yeah, that hurt. A lot. I, it, it really kind of bothered me. I was like, do you know how hard I work for this? Mm-hmm. But it's okay, you know. Mm-hmm. She mentioned that you lied about your age. Is that true? You know what? You know what's crazy? <laughs> I'm just trying you to... You know what's crazy? She, she mentioned a lot of things. Okay. And if we get into everything that she mentioned... You'll like, be here the next week. we here all night. Okay. And mm-hmm. again, like I told... A prime example is is the degree. Mm-hmm. She don't have a degree. Um, She, like, she said, I'm a witch. Like, she, she said mm-hmm. so many things. Mm-hmm. So, some stuff, I'll just be like, you know what? Just go ahead. You got it. Okay, last one because I am a hip hop, uh, loving hip hop watcher. Okay. How do you feel about they Scrappy said. going back with Erica now? Um, I mean, you know, people got to do whatever makes them happy. Oh. So I'm uh, listen. If that's How it goes? goes okay. You seeing anybody? Of course, oh. a woman like me does not stay single. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, so that's like, why you so happy. That's why you so unballed. Yeah. Back at it. Let's get back into it, man. Young JLC. Miss y'all niggas, shout out to Young Jack in the streets morning to take over. Bunny Banks checking in right now. Uh, in the building, we got the one and only Bambi. We're talking about everything she's got going on, man. Again, thank you for this journal you gave me, the Locked In Journal. A journal for couples. Bam's got a, a host of books. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised. Well, let me not say I'm surprised. Um, I'm inspired. Because surprise could be uh, offensive. Because it's like, dang, I didn't expect you to do something yeah. with your life, with yourself. That So I don't mean that by no means. But uh, definitely it's dope. Now, we've talked about your personal life. You know, of course, you know, I was going to ask you all those questions. Uh, we talked about some of the business moves. Now let's dive into more business move and biz- business moves and strategies with you, Bam. Who, who you got next to you right now? Uh, so I got One Way Fly right here. He's an artist. I'm sure you know Fly. Uh, <laughs> And, um, yeah, like, he's um, just a really dope artist. And a couple years ago, when me and Scrap were together, he had his label going, and Fly was one of the artists. And I really felt strongly about him, like, putting some energy behind Fly at the time. I was Mm -hmm. like, listen, like, this is the guy. Um, And so I had committed myself to, to stepping in to help to do whatever I could do as well. And I wasn't really being, like, a woman of my word. I kind of, like, let something slip through the crack. And then recently he had a situation where, you know, he could have lost his life. You know, he got shot. And it was really bad. And when I heard the news, the first thing that came in my mind is, like, yo, I have been telling this guy that, you know, I'm going to help him and I'm going to do what I need to do. And um, at that moment I was just like, you know what, I can't, I can't play with it no more. Yeah. So here he is. That is what's hey. up, Fly? What's going on, Doc? Because you know, I was, you know, if y'all if y'all want me to play politically correct, I will. Or if you want me to just get into what it is, yeah. Because as soon as you walked in, I was like, oh shit, yeah. you know, I I didn't know Fly to be connected to Bam. Yeah. Um, I knew Fly to be connected to Scrappy, 
but because y'all were married, it made you a part of the situation as well. And I didn't even know all of the, the little intricate details that you just uh, revealed. Um, but it is interesting because I've heard bro music and I have definitely been like, what we doing? Like, yeah. cause, cause he hard. So how did this come about? Because I mean, you know, you don't really want to get into the politics of it, mm-hmm. but why not? Because you know, when, when people see this interview, oh, yeah, they're going to, the sure. comments is going to be a political party. Everybody's going to have their opinions, their thoughts, their yeah. objections and all that. So what was, what, what, what was it like knowing that, okay, this could be a conflict, but she believe in me, I believe in me, we believe in the situation. How was this whole coming of, of, of age? How was, what, what was this moment like for you? Well, first and foremost, you know, Bam, Bam's like family. Okay. Right? And she been like that, so, and business is business. Okay. So, it's nothing personal. Nothing personal. Because that's the first thing people, now, but that's the first thing people going to say is, is this your artist or is this your Artists, boyfriend, and y'all doing the thing because that's the first people thing that's gonna hit their mind. People, people gonna yeah. do that. Yeah. So you might well get the elephant out of the room. Yeah, no, that's unfortunate too because we we've had those conversations and I didn't even really think about like people saying, "Oh, was well, this your boyfriend?" or you know something like that. But it was more so people knowing his attachment to Scrap, which you know I told him I said it, it may be a little uncomfortable, but I truly feel like. You know, when when I heard the news about him getting shot, I didn't care about nothing else. I was like, it, it really reminded me how much love I have for him and my word that I gave him. And I said, nah, like, I'm not letting no more time go by. Like, I don't care who it offends. So. Okay. So what's, what's what we doing? We're working on an EP, new single, music. How, how's this roll out? So he, um, I'm sorry. I'll let you talk to him. <laughs> Hey, man, you know what's going on, job, Listen, I'm giving Suge Knight over here. Nah, but um, no, he just he just dropped the single, and I'm really excited about it for real. Um, it's called Eyes, and it really kind of um taps into his recent situation about him. You know, I, I hate to keep saying it, right. but you know what I'm saying. Um, but it's, I it's get just, it. Yes, it's I a get light it. Thing, um, but yeah, I'll let you tell him some more. About I ain't finna leave no money on the table either. If I know I'm finna push up, and I know I got this artist already ready to go, oh yeah, he's I'm ready. finna grab him and, and ride. Definitely locked and loaded. But yeah, um, <laughs> I just I just dropped a new single. I just on all major um, platforms, and I'm working on the EP as we speak. I was supposed to drop it on the fourth, but. I want to perfect it though, so I ain't. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, if you really think about it, back, you know, some some time ago, it took a minute for you to get another project from an artist because they put more time into it. They took more time, and it wasn't a oh yeah, I went to the studio and recorded twenty songs today. Like Mm -hmm. you gonna get a bunch of just whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you taking your time to do it again? I'm just saying I understand that. I appreciate you too, Jock, though. Yeah, man. Because you, you, you definitely gave me a platform at one point in time, too. I yeah. appreciate it. I never got to I always, I always been loved. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, when I see certain situations, you know, you you kind of try to figure out how you can help. And then sometimes you don't want to be doing too much and overstep because then people start to feel like, oh, you you know, this is what I'm working on. You know, work on what you're working on. So there's a lot of times where I, I saw things that could have been done um, and I just was like, well, that's, kind of you know somebody else's business somebody else's play but that doesn't mean that i'm not willing to help people or it doesn't mean i didn't want to help i'm just saying it was times when i saw you around i was like yo this would be good good time to do xyz you know but i mean i wish I'm you the best calling you for that insight now can i it'd be like that do i have the green light to do hey that? man or are you are you staying out of it family Look, business. you know <laughs> what? Hey, a lot of people don't know too though, that me and Jock related to Jock, my cousin too though. Man, so 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 in real life, how about this? I just tell people at the end of the day, you know, communication is key. Communication is key because the way you feel today, you may not feel that way tomorrow, yeah. and the way you feel could only be it could be I could feel a certain way about you because of my own insecurities. Yeah. I could feel a way about you because. I'm not mature enough to accept this situation. I can feel a way about you because I've been given false information or been fed a false narrative. And that's why it takes communication because at the end of the day, like, look, you know, if it was a thing of me not being able to even get involved, it would have been like, 
no, I don't want to do an interview with Bambi. For sure. But I, I don't. I, I can't get. I don't do none of that. I that. You know, at the end of the day, I just say, hey, man, you know, everybody has worked hard to be who they are, become who they've become. Um, blood, sweat, and tears. A lot of sweat equity going on in, in relationships and yep. partnerships. And sometimes you walk away as a beneficiary of everything that comes with it. And sometimes you walk away depleted with nothing. So I just, I just try to be mature about it and say, hey, look, man, However it plays out, that's how it plays out. I just know that, you know, I'm not into disrespecting nobody. I wouldn't disrespect you. I wouldn't disrespect you. I wouldn't disrespect Scrappy. So for me, communication, it, it works all the time. Sometimes it just don't because some people is not going to be able to see it. But depending on who it comes from, then some people may be willing to listen and just at least yeah. give you a second to hear your point of view. And I think maybe this is one of those situations. You know what I mean? Nah, for real, man. We in the building, man. We got that boy Fly in the building checking yeah. in with Bambi. If you just checking in, Young Jack in the Streets morning to take over. We talking all things Bambi all 2024. She got these books right now. Appreciate my uh, locked in journal. Shout out to need one too. Yeah, I do. I need yeah. one. Shout out to need, need one, one of these. I, I, I don't want that one of these divorced parents books. I'm trying to keep my family. <laughs> I ain't. Well, no, but, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I like a, um, you need to marry this is my baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> I need send that to her. Yeah, you need to send that to her. I'll be her store over there. Yeah, you know I, got you. Take that over. I need that journal for me and my wife. I got you for real. Yes, yeah, yes. I'm happy. That I was worried about my sister because when Batman first got here, little do people know, you know what I mean. She was hanging out with us, and um, we she hit the road with us in the vans, and we were the Champagne Kings, and mm -hmm. so I know you can't be totally plutonic. And have business for going sure. on or be friends with I somebody. So I ain't even gonna yeah. press you on that because yeah. she rode around with all of us and we was kicking yeah. it and it was all that. So and sometimes certain women just put up a whole wall where he, no matter how bad she is, you ain't trying to. You just know, like, nah. I think I, I give should. off that energy. Yeah, it wasn't even, we ain't even, we, it, it was a nah, whole other part of it. But I'm saying it's still a level of yeah. respect. It ain't, yeah. you, can't, you can't get with this. It's more yeah. like, look here, you know, I ain't on none of that. Yeah. So. Exactly. You know? Yeah. That is yeah. so. We about to uh, officially turn the show over to you. Oh, for real? No, nah, I'm talking shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> but <laughs> she was ready to go. Like, okay. I told nah, you. No, nah, but I, I know. You come I, tomorrow. I know you got more um, interviews and things like <laughs> that, do, man. Can, can I give y'all one more? No, nah, come on, talk. That's why okay, it is. Okay, so Let's do it. Um, I'm officially starting like a management company. Flies the artist, and then you know I have Jalen Banks. He in here. And um, he's been on, my boy. yeah, for sure. He been on a few reality TV shows. He got movies. He got all kind of stuff coming out. So um, yeah, we finna go ahead and stay locked in. That's right, girl. Like that. And that is so. Look at man again. Shouts out to Bambi, Fly, Jalen. Face that. Hey, man, y'all know it's love. Make sure y'all stick around because we got to keep it coming. We mm -hmm. always out here in these streets. So keep it locked. Young Jack in the streets, morning takeover. Yeah.